All right. All right. Crypts. I made a video about crypts recently, and uh, uh, even though I, I say that crypts is a very good addition to the game, and I think it's a great game mode, but I, I still think there is a lot of things they could do to improve it and make it fun for everyone, not just for people who enjoy insane grind. And uh, I'm, I'm going to give it another chance. So this week in the crypt, I see uh, this beautiful man. Classic Rain, which costs 14,000 hearts. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to grind this week. I'm going to grind every single day, and I have seven keys if I, in case I need them. But I think if I do a heart crypt twice a day, it's like 3,000 points a day. I should be able to get 14,000 points. No problem whatsoever. And I see people dropping gears all the time. So I'm, I'm going to document every single piece of gear and gold characters, I guess, if, if something of value drops. I've seen people getting lizard characters. No, I actually got a lizard character myself once from Crypt, from my very first Crypt that I played. But the thing is, I have not dropped a single gear piece, even though I, I completed Crypt probably five, six times in this account, and about five, six times on my other account, and not a single gear drop. And people already uh, having maxed out pieces somehow. I don't know how. I mean, I know how. They're just getting super lucky, and I'm not. So I'm, I want to document how many gear pieces I'm going to drop from grinding the whole 14,000 points in one week. So uh, I'm going to show you currently how many gear pieces I have. Uh, let's filter this by crypt. I have literally one piece that I bought with my hearts because I, I couldn't grind enough for a character, so I had to settle for a piece of gear one of the seasons. So this is all I have. This is all my crypt gear. Let's see what is it going to be in the end of the week. Let the experiment begin. Hope I get something good. I have one day and nine hours left in the crypt. And I've been grinding it like a madman. And I'm 500,000 points away from getting the final 14,000 goal. And you're probably wondering, how much gear did you get? Did it rain gear? Well... Let me tell you a story. So I've been playing first maybe five challenges and I got zero, zero drops. And I was like, my my confidence was so low, literally not a single gear drop. I only got one gold card drop, which was Baraka, which completely destroyed my confidence. But then on run six, this happened. I can't believe this. That is so cool. What on earth is going on? My god, the same crypt run. The same crypt run. I got two epics and one rare, and I'm not even done. I'm just two floors in. This blows my mind. Was I wrong about the crypts? I don't know. It was an Elder Run. I decided to do an Elder Run even though uh, most of the times I, I have to forfeit because sometimes I would, I would face like an absolute ridiculous team that will wipe me. So I mostly was doing hard, but I decided to do one Elder difficulty. And I... I think I actually finished it. Like, I had to use lots of potions, but the point is... I got two epics and one rare piece of gear on one floor, on one floor, almost back to back from the regular boss battles, two epics and one rare. How insane is this? And the only other drop that I got from this uh, grind was one Triberg, like a gold card. So two epic gears, one rare and two gold cars, and all the gear dropped from only one challenge. 
But don't think that uh, that Elder Difficulty is so much better for gear, because I've been doing Elder Difficulty on my main account for quite a few times and haven't dropped a single piece. So I, I think it's just random. I think I just got randomly lucky at one point. Anyway, I'm gonna grind the final 500 points right now, and we're gonna buy smoke. And I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you my opinion. If if my opinion about crypts changed at all, I'm gonna tell you in the end of the video. For now, let's just go for the for the normal difficulty. Let's do this relaxed. Let, let's get uh, let's get lots of points. Uh, oh boy, all my Johnny's been already spent. I guess we'll go for classic movie Johnny. Why not? I I don't really need super strong team because we're going for the normal. I'm gonna go for Baracha boy and for uh, Flaming boy, and these guys should be able to carry me through this fight. All right, so I just need 500 points. I'm gonna I, I I'm even gonna why can't I enter silver and gold characters only? Oh come on! Okay, you know what? Just so I can be done with this, I'm gonna use uh, I'm gonna use the revive revive thing on this guy. J just to get to get it done, because I am pretty sure I have I have I have recovery uh, a couple of them. I have one. Since I'm I really doubt I'm gonna play Crips ever again, which I'm gonna explain to you later why. I'm just gonna use this one recovery because I don't want to spend another day on this. I just want to be done right now. Okay, this might be actually enough. This might be actually enough. Come on. What if I escape right now? I'm gonna keep 429. It might not be enough. <laughs> but, oh. Now this is for sure enough. Alright. Let's escape. I hope I didn't make any mistakes in my calculations. 472. We got this, 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 and I have 14,000! You have used all your daily attempts. I know. Why are you telling me this now? I'm not gonna buy any crypt keys. Alright, crypt store. Here he is. Classic rain. I grinded for so long, and now he's mine. And you know what the, 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 the best part about all of this experience is? I get to have this beautiful shiny diamond after grinding for like seven, eight hours. The best part is I will never use this guy probably ever again. So let's talk. Let's talk about the crypts. My initial opinion, you, you can watch in my other video and a lot of people agreed with me, a lot of people disagreed with me. Before I go any further, I want to point out that this is my opinion. I'm not spreading fake news. I'm not trying to convince you of anything. It's just purely my opinion. And if you disagree with my opinion, let's have a polite conversation about it. There is no need to uh, hate or insult me because y you don't agree with my opinion. So. What did I learn from grinding crypts religiously every single day for the whole week and getting the best reward in the shop? So the plus of the crypt is you can spend coins. That, that, that's in my opinion the biggest plus. You get stuff for spending coins. Now the things I think can be improved. First of all, I see a lot of people saying crypts are very boring and I... I agree 100%. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Crips are mind-numbingly boring. The fact that you have to travel, like, choose a direction, then you have to zoom out, see where you didn't go, like, go the same path multiple times to explore every single node, and every single step on the way, there's animations, you have to click things, stuff opening, stuff uh, switching around, it could have been done so much faster. Why can't we pick up the things on the way, like uh, the urns and chests? Why can't we just open them automatically? Why do you need to click another time to open it and then click another time to claim it? Why can't we just... Passing through the node, it just goes into our inventory. You have like a little pop-up in the corner. You don't need to spend 10 seconds on every node and click the screen twice in order to get all the items. 
that part just drives me crazy. I've been literally skipping uh, the gray and uh, and green chests for my couple runs because I just I just couldn't handle opening them anymore. Especially considering how much stuff you get in, that you're not even gonna use all of it probably. This is my one pet peeve. Second of all, it's it takes way too long. Just as I said in the first time. Let me uh, let me say this before I go any further. I think Crypt is a fantastic game mode. And a lot of people are going to enjoy it and it's going to give you a chance to get uh, basically grind for diamonds. It's it's great. It's just not for me. I I I I just uh, uh, people say but in the tower you have to fight 200 battles to get a random diamond. But in this game you 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 get to like there is no randomness you have you get to choose what diamond you're grinding for you can spend you know exactly how much time it's going to take to get it you know exactly what you're grinding for and that's going to sound weird but th that's exactly the part that makes it boring in the tower every single ba battle is exciting because you get a random reward after it it could be a gold card it could be a gear drop it could be a challenge I mean, you could argue you can get uh, gear from Crypt as well, but honestly, Crypt gear is not even that great. So I got a couple Crypt pieces, and I, I will never, I will never use them. Even in Crypts, they don't even give you boost your stats in Crypt when the tower gear actually makes your runs easier. But in Crypt, getting tower gear is like, oh, shiny. Okay, go back into collection. Like this gear is just not great at all. So yeah, this is my this is my current uh, uh, gear that I've dropped from it. So uh, I, I did get Quan Chi's uh, brutality set, which is great. But like this piece, yeah. This piece, okay, some health boost, unblockable attack chance reduction. Eh, I don't know. I, I feel like these pieces would be so much better if they had boost your if they would boost your stats in crypt so you could actually put them on your crypt teams and have much easier runs using this gear. Other than that, I'm I'm not impressed with this at all. I mean, okay, this one is pretty decent. Enigmatic lantern, lantern. You you can eventually get it to Fusion X, but it's just in the tower. The fact that in the end you get a random diamond. There is a reason why, like, loot boxes are so popular, because it's exciting. You get the dopamine hit, getting the final reward, grinding for it, not knowing what it is, and then opening it and getting either super excited or very disappointed. Most of the times very disappointed, but just the chance that you're gonna get something amazing that's what what makes the towers exciting for me in my again in my opinion towers are way more fun for two reasons first of all the not knowing what you get the random drops the random uh rewards most uh, for every single battle that's one thing the other thing you can auto through most of the tower you can literally, like, depending on how strong your account is, you can beat most of it on auto and then just only do manually a couple battles that are very difficult that auto cannot handle. And if you face a challenging battle in the tower, even if you're starting out, you're not super strong account, you face a challenging battle in the tower, you can keep trying this battle over and over, improve your strategy, change your team, change your setup, to try and beat it and in the end and in the end you beat the, the battle in the tower and it just feels good because you worked so hard on beating this battle the satisfaction level is incredible in quests if you face a challenging battle i mean in crypts if you if you face a challenging battle you're most likely gonna lose you don't get any satisfaction you you don't get to change to try again if you lose you have to spend like super valuable resources to revive yourself and potentially try again but then like that battle you're probably never gonna face again because you, you're constantly facing random battles there is no sense of build up and you cannot even use like you have to 
somehow build a team that is going to be good against bosses and against regular teams. And the bosses even heal from your dots if there is MK11 Jade in there, which is so stupid. I don't know. I don't hate crypts. I think it's great, but it's just it's just not something I'm going to play. I, I, I really doubt I will ever open crypts ever again it's just it's just not for me i'm sorry guys I, I i'm just not enjoying this mode this week it felt like the crypts took over my life it sounds dramatic but it, it feels like it i was like okay i need to grind crypts today uh, I, I basically had to dedicate like at least an hour every single day so i can go and play through these crypts and uh there was nothing exciting about it you are grinding, you're getting these hearts. The hearts don't feel exciting. The only exciting point is if you magically drop a piece of gear, which once again doesn't happen very often. Whoever already has Fusion 5, 6 epics, you guys got extremely lucky. Second of all, you, you get hearts, you get a bunch of useless uh, consumables. It doesn't feel satisfying. You only get to get one satisfying thing after many hours of grinding in the towers you can you can drop cool things all the time you can drop souls you can drop uh gold cards you can drop diamond cards you can drop drop tower gear there's a lot of exciting stuffs that you drop from tower every single battle in crypts it's just once in a while so i don't know let me know what do you think do you prefer towers or do you prefer crypts i'm actually gonna make a poll on the wall i'm, I'm really curious what are the percentages between towers tower players and crit players or maybe you like both if, if you play both i think i think two things would improve crypts dramatically number one is auto traverse something that you can click a button and if your team is strong enough you're just going to go from battle to battle collect everything automatically and basically you give it a task to explore the entire crypt and fight every boss battle and potentially use maybe there's a setting to use potions if you get if your health get low like it even because even if you have super strong accounts it's still possible that you're going to get super unlucky with auto and with your enemy team and you're going to lose one of your characters on auto and that's 50 souls or a revive potion and uh, that just doesn't feel good Anyway, these are my opinions about crypts. Great game modes, just not for me. But I'm sure a lot of people are enjoying them, and I'm happy for you guys. I'm happy that we finally got a new game mode. And I'm not mad at Mortal Kombat, I think they did a good job. Uh, I think uh, they can improve the crypts a lot, but even at the current state, I see a lot of people are enjoying the crypts, and I'm really happy for you guys. Uh, I still enjoy the game. I, I, I like the towers. I don't know. I, I, I just like... The, I, I'm just a tower boy. I play the towers. I do the quests. Uh, that's pretty much the only thing I do in the game at this point. And I'm still curious to see what's what's coming next for MK Mobile. But if you're enjoying the crypts, I'm really, really happy for you. I hope you get all of those beautiful diamonds from the store. And yeah. This is pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. Hope I hope this video didn't turn out to be too negative. I really tried to uh, like to, to to showcase all the positive things about crypts, but I I might be a little bit frustrated right now because I spent a whole week grinding. Maybe maybe that's why it sounds like I'm being a little bit too negative. But I'm honestly looking forward to my next week without crypts in it. <laughs> Which sounds so bad. Anyway, I'm just gonna shut up before I ruin this whole video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more. Let me know your opinion in the comments. Please be respectful, even if it's a different opinion. Because I respect your different opinions. So, it's only fair if you respect my different opinion. See you later, and goodbye.